Hi everyone, it's Frugal here. As always, I have my coffee because otherwise somebody might just get killed. So let's talk today about a personal development plan and money. So um, you know that you sort of don't want to stay where you are, right? You sort of want to grow. You want to become more, more than what you are today. And you want to sort of reach, you know, your full potential. The problem that we have in these days is that people just don't. You know, they just drink coffee and that's about it. They don't actually put their plans into action. They don't even have a plan. So a personal development plan is just that. It is personal, it's for your own development, and it's a plan. So in a nutshell, what you do is you have goals or you have a vision. You say, this is what my purpose is. This is what I want to do with my life. This is where I want to go. And then from there on, you break it down into smaller goals, even smaller goals, and you make it basically impossible for yourself to fail. That is it. Remember, a personal development plan is there to actually help you grow. It's very similar to a budget. A budget is evil, you know, in the sense that it just is there to make you feel bad about you're not achieving things. You should make your budget in such, set it up in such a way that things are achievable and that you, with subtle tweaks to your budget, you can actually make it work and you can better yourself. Um, in a very much sense, like James Clear says, you know, it's basically like almost fooling yourself. It's like rewarding yourself and with small um, atomic changes, you actually grow yourself to where you want to be. So let's talk about the different areas where you can have a personal development plan. You can have a personal development plan for your job, your career. So that would be, uh, you know, your business. That would be the professional side. That would be things like you want to be able to learn a new technology. So, for example, you want to learn how to code. You want to learn Flutter. You want to learn how to work with dirty bases. You are looking for something that you want to grow. You might want to learn a new language. So the other one that you get then obviously is personal. So for example, you have a problem with depression and anxiety and you do want to just start coping and you know growing out of the things that's happened in the past. So what you can do is you can do a personal development plan for that and say, what can I actively do to move on? The other one that you get is for relationships. So there is a split here. It could be your partner, your lover, your boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, you know, Mrs. Frugal. Sorry, she's taken, she's mine. And, uh, you know, you want to say, listen, I have some relationship goals for us. Like, for example, uh, you know, we talk about what happened, not only this week, but what's happening in our lives at a fairly regular basis. Uh, that could be a weekly coffee. So that would be, might be a Sunday evening coffee. My parents used to do that. And every Sunday evening, they talk about the week ahead, the week past. It's like a reflection to see where, you, you know, where they were, what they're doing in future. And, uh, you know, you can set that up as one of the ways to say, okay, this is what we want to achieve. And in that meeting, you can actually then discuss, have you achieved your goals for the week? Have you achieved your goals for the month? You know, how, are you actually moving towards your goal? Then what you have is you also have uh, relationships. So that would be outside friendships. It might be connections. It might be uh, that you want to grow your friendship base. Uh, all of these things actually, you know, you can do, but you sort of need a plan to work with. Remember, it's that thing of fail to plan or plan to fail. So you sort of want to have something in place, just something. And remember, it doesn't need to be fancy. And if you don't know where to start, it might be worth chatting to a life coach or somebody who would be able to assist and pin those things down for you. You need to remember that for all of those things in your personal development plan, it, they need to be important, i.e. don't go and measure the amount of cups of tea you drink because that's not important. It might be important if you want to switch to coffee, on the other hand. The second thing is it needs to be measurable. So you need to be able to know when you are not actually making it. So, for example, if you are saying, I want to lose X amount of kgs, that's very difficult. You know, you can say it's measurable. But how do you actually say, you know, achieve that? You don't have control over your bodies. Certain people just, you know, are a little bit bigger than normal. And it's not because they're not eating right. It's just that their bodies work in such a way. On the other hand, it might be worth investigating. Same with, uh, you know, when people just go shopping like a crazy person, just go like and shop, 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 shop. There might be an underlying thing that's actually causing that. And it might be worth exploring that. For example, in your small goals, exploring that, looking at that, and, you know, digging in to understand that. 
and then setting a measurable goal for that. So for example, uh, whenever I go out to a restaurant, I will not order chips with my meal, I will order a salad. Or I will have only one third carbs, one third meat, and then one third vegetables on my plate when I eat. You know, it's roughly that, but that's measurable because you have control over that. You can say, yes, I went and I ate out three times this week, but I did have a salad. So you have achieved your mini goal. So obviously, like I said, measurable, and then you need the metrics then to be able to measure it at the end. So you need the data, you need the, to, to be able to then go and look back and say, reflect and say, yes, I have achieved it. It is, uh, you know, right, I'm still on track. You know, do you have to make it extremely complicated for first pass? No. Do you may need to make it complicated for the hundredth pass? No. But it's supposed to build your confidence. It's supposed to make you grow. In the same way, let's get to the money part. So when you're talking about personal, uh, your personal development plan, your PDP and money, you might say, listen, I want to save for retirement. So you know that you need X amount of money to retire. So for example, if you need a 15,000 Rand a month to survive, you need about four and a half million Rand, just roughly estimate, estimated, you know. Um, you can, uh, if you would like to know how I got to that number, 15,000 times 12 times 25, which gives you 25 years of expenses. And that is then in total, um, you know, that amount. So you know what that is your goal that you need to reach. So you sort of need to reach that, otherwise you probably will die. But that's in today's money. So what you need to do is you need to set up small goals. For example, if you've got if you've saved nothing, start start researching projects and products and uh, ETFs and retirement annuities, pension funds and other funds and uh, overseas exposure and local exposure and other big words like that. And that is going to guide you into the direction of where you should be going. Uh, you know, and then once you've got that, you might want to speak to a financial advisor, you want to speak to uh, Frugal, you want to speak to other people in the personal finance community, and then say, okay, you know, once I've got enough information, I can start. And now I can get my plan in place because I know also from my income and expenses, this is the amount that I have that I can save. And also this is the amount that I should be saving, uh, you know, to make it for retirement, depending on the amount of days that you, or years, you know, months that you have until retirement. And that'll give you a really good idea about you know, what you can do and can't do. You might want to play the lotto because, you know, it's just not going to happen. But I suggest that you start planning now and do everything in your power to make that happen. So, for example, on other money plans, you can say, listen, I have a, you know, I have a personal development plan to actually develop my money in uh, getting rid of debt, you know, becoming debt free. And once you are worth absolutely nothing, i.e. debt is paid off, then you can go and say like, hello, new investments, I shall grasp you with both hands and I shall invest now. It's really an achievement to be worthless, actually, because most of South Africans, you know, they are deep in debt. They're not worthless. You know, and I'm not even talking about a surplus. But it's worth looking into that and saying, okay, what can I do right now? How can I do it? In, and in which way can I do it? It might be that I'm paying off 100 Rand more on my credit card each month. Because um, you know, at least then, you know, you've got something and you're moving forward and you're actually going to pay it off ever so slightly faster. Which helps a lot. You know, every little bit helps when it comes to money. It might be that you want to start saving for a kid. You know, for, uh, you know, a kid for college, for university, for school, you know, kids are expensive. You know, it's something to add in your money personal development plan. And it's also quite personal. So there might be worth, it might be worth digging into that and actually saying, okay, but what else can I do? It might be saving for a home, a deposit, uh, for bond and transfer costs, all of those goodies. I mean, that's another great money goal that you can have in your personal development plan for money. Remember, you can have different ones, and the money personal development plan is also highly, highly recommended. It is a good idea having that in there. Great, so now that you know about personal development plans, and you know about a uh, little bit about personal development plans for your money, have a wonderful day. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Happy investing.